What's up, folks? I have some great news to tell you. I'm your host, Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel, and you're tuning into a new game engine called Core Open Alpha. It's actually called Core, and it's in an open alpha right now. That means that it's free to use, free to play with, free to try to utilize to create games. And I learned this from a guy's YouTube channel known as Games From Scratch. This this particular uh, content creator, YouTube Mike, and he's pretty, pretty cool. I highly recommend for y'all folks to go check him out. There's going to be a link in the video's description area to get to him and also to get to the website for Core. So I just wanted to credit him for it because I had no idea that this existed before I watched this video. And let me go real quick to the core website. And this is uh, right here, coregames.com. So check out coregames.com if you want to start up your own um, game development. And you don't have to be a coder. You don't have to know how to create games based on coding and making the elements to the game. So basically how it works is game developers go in and create the differing parts of the game for you and you pretty much I believe you go in and check out the game engines um, elements that they have to offer and then you can puzzle things together as you see fit I think that's pretty dope that they have something like this they also have another game engine like this um, known as Billbox but I didn't really like Billbox too much so I chose not to use it when I first tried it I may try it again in the future just to see if they upgraded it to such a degree to make it work a little bit more user friendly but uh, let's see how this one works. I think this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, so before you join, you have to sign up, put your email, create a, a password, and a user name. And that's pretty much it. Um, right now, it looks like it's launching. So it's coming up on the screen. And I just have to put in my email and password and then get it uh, launched. So this is pretty, pretty intense and intriguing what it, what it's capable of doing i believe is running off of unreal engine so that would probably also mean that your computer should be up to a certain standard so i don't know the, the tech specs on it so i'll try to get that for y'all folks so you can pretty much know what to expect um, in terms of your computing power if you, you should have a certain gpu processing um, power for your graphics card and CPU processing power for your computer. So we'll see all that once it's all said and done. So let me just try to log in real quick, see what I could do just to start off just a slight bit. I'm not really going to do too much with it today because I got to run and do some stuff out outdoors and um, get myself moving today. So um, yeah, I, another great news is that I got a brand new computer. It's not a gaming computer. It's not a supercomputer yet, but it's something temporarily that's going to take the place of my old computer that actually crashed and it crashed and burned. It's no longer good and it's not usable because the hard drive crashed and I actually dropped the hard drive on the floor um, by mistake, which was a good thing because now I have to get I had to get this computer and this computer is much better. No more freezes, no more slowdowns. Um, now I can actually produce the content that I, I look to create. So here we go. This is um, the dashboard. You get to check out throughout um, the dashboard itself, different games that are available. And it looks like I can navigate to the left, but I guess you gotta click view all. Doesn't seem like there's a scroll bar to scroll it to the left because I'm using my mouth, my mouse right here. You can scroll down and I guess, like I said, click view all and then you can see all that's available. This is the featured games here Hit this little arrow. You got top games and these are games by game creators, developer slash um, gamer type enthusiasts who wanted to create games and it looks like they have a great deal of really cool looking games that people have come up with using this software so i'm very 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 <laughs> thrilled that i'm going to be able to create my own game 
finally i never created a game i actually tried a few times but i'm not the coder type so i don't really get into that level of it i just look for like drag and drop tools that'll help you to create games and this one looks like it's gonna be a sensational one because i can see some really good looking games based on the um the graphics that they show in this these little thumbnails i'm not really too sure don't quote me on it because i haven't clicked on any but i'll try them on my own and see what they're like so we got uh i'm in the games itself let's go to create so in order to create you just click this create button it seems and it comes up with bringing you to a my projects option and then most recent i have none obviously because i just started so let's click create see what it does brings up new project start project uh view framework and view projects so new empty project is what i want to start with it says create a new game from an empty scene default sky floor spawn point and player settings are included so we click start and it says third person empty project create a new game from an empty scene etc etc so i have to name uh put a name in here so what does it say project title we're gonna call this lifted lifted gifts that's what we'll call it i don't know i'm just testing so this is a test one test run i should say so hit create i have a very little limited amount of time but i just wanted to see what it starts out like so here we go comes up with some sort of a create content creator tool and you would think this would give you the maximize option but it's not allowing me to maximize the screen so i probably can move it around and minimize this and then put this up like that there it goes so i had to get rid of the background in order to maximize that's okay so pretty much these are the game element controls it seems like i'm moving the mouse now from right to left and it looks like it's constantly rendering so it's trying to render thumbnails up to 1005 so i don't know what that is but i see i can click and select objects this is the floor and it's just going to take some time to figure out how to use this stuff over here on the right it has hierarchy game settings spawn point third person camera settings default sky default floor then it has other things here properties performance uh, at the very lower left has project content core content and community content you click on community content and then you can see there's options here where you can pull from other stuff in the community and import it so that's what i'm interested in doing to some degree and trying to create from community stuff besides what i can come up with myself and i think that's going to be interesting as i go along trying to build my own games um should be really cool so that's the part that they were talking about where other content creators can help you you can drag this up as well by the way so you click in in between this screen here and you just drag it so you can see more of it so there you go gives you a bird's eye view of what it is that you can select so let's try one we're going to try to import this goo grenade we click the import blue button are you sure you want to add the latest version of the template to the core content we're going to click yes and all right so it looks like you could probably drag this and drop it in no it says has assets not valid for drag and drop okay interesting so what can i do with this let me click it right click left click it doesn't do anything let me double click it okay so now that i double clicked it let's see if i could drag and drop okay now i can drag and drop so you have to left click it first to activate it to some degree and then you can drag and drop it and now i'm just looking to see if i can rotate the camera but that looks pretty interesting whatever that is 
So that's what the goo grenade is. I don't know what it does, but I didn't read the details as to what it does. But you can select it, you can move it, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have fun creating with this core uh, game cr uh, creator software. And as an open alpha, like any open alpha, op open beta, it's going to be pretty interesting. And I'm going to have some fun. So other than that, that's all I got. Joe Lovin Peace to all. Mike Pugh signing off. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if y'all folks never subscribed to support the channel and also to check out my brand new videos that I have to launch. And feel free to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Um, I'm going to do much more content creation with this actual core game development platform. And it's going to be pretty dope. And again, like I said, thanks, Mike, from Games, Games From Scratch for hooking us up. Um, and basically letting us know about it. I, like I said, I had no no idea that this existed before that. But his channel is dope in terms of gaming. I don't have a gaming channel per se in, on FPC Virtual. It's just more of a technology channel. But games are part of technology. So I'll be trying to develop on this and see what I can come up with. And I will shoot it on to my gaming channel, which is FPC Virtual Games. Um, I haven't done much with it in a while, but once I come up with some really good games on this or development uh, pro projects or something like that, I'll launch it on there. And I'll put a link to that in the video description area if you have folks are interested in checking out my gaming channel that hasn't been really worked on much. Feel free to subscribe over there and you'll be able to see a lot of the end products that I can come up with, hopefully. And I have to stick with it in order to actually develop a game. So that's what the whole challenge is. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Peace.